In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to set up threesomes and I'm gonna teach you how to capitalize on them and get the most enjoyment, the most fun out of your threesome experiences. So most threesomes do not come from you randomly picking up two girls. That is like the unicorn the super unicorn fantasy, porno fantasy setup, right? That very, very rarely happens. Even with guys that I know who get laid all the goddamn time, they have a ton of threesomes. The, the most common way to set up threesomes and the most, really the easiest way to set up threesomes is to have your main chick already. So having a main chick who is bisexual is extremely important, or at least bi-curious. That is, if you want to have Lots of threesomes, you want to have threesomes in your life. That is kind of the, the core building block of getting lots of threesomes, is having a main chick who is bisexual. So then what do you do? Well, then you can either go create a couple's dating profile on all the different dating apps, and you can start hunting around looking for other interested women, or you can go out to bars and hunt together as a team, or the other way you can do it is basically set up your relationship scenario where she is loyal to you and you fuck around. And that means that once she's cool with that and she's also bisexual, then you go out and you hunt women individually and you screen them for bisexuality and then you bring this third girl or a third wheel, a third person, her, right, into the dynamic with you and your main chick. So one of the ways you can start to kind of implement this uh, idea of having a threesome with your main chick is uh, introducing what I like to call, or well, what's what basically is a cuckweening fantasy. So a lot, of, a lot of you might be familiar with the term cuckold. It's, you know, when a dude's missus is getting fucked by another guy. The opposite of that is called cuckweening. And that's when I go and fuck another chick in front of my main chick. Okay, now this is a fantasy you can start playing around with and embedding in her head okay, during the act of sex. And here's a way you might do that. I might be mid-sex fucking my main chick and then I'll whisper some dirty shit in her. I'll start describing a scenario to her. This scenario might be something like, imagine how fucking hot it would be for you to be tied up in the corner right there watching me fuck another girl like this. And you make sure you're fucking good when you say that. So you put, and you're using the room you're in as like the perfect example. So you, you're fucking her and she's enjoying it. And then you're planting that idea, that fantasy in your head of, imagine if you were in that corner watching this and watching me do it at somebody else, right? It's a very, women are far more susceptible to suggestion during the act of sex, right? So this is a, a good way to start introducing this fantasy. And you, you drip feed it. You drop it in once or twice, okay? And then, but you drop, drop it in once or twice during sex before you ever bring it up in outside the bedroom, in the real world. The next step you can take after you've kind of implanted that fantasy in her head is you can have her get ready for a fake threesome. And what I mean by a fake threesome is you tell her, hey baby, I found this chick. She's keen, she's into you. Uh, she wants to come over and, and play with us. You know, maybe show, maybe you show her photos of some, some girl you're already talking to or whatever. Now here's the thing, it never happens. What you're doing, you're deliberately like not having a threesome. You're telling her, hey, we're gonna have a threesome with this girl. And then that girl is gonna magically cancel at the last minute. But here is the important part. She is gonna spend that whole day getting herself ready psychologically for a threesome with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you've told her, hey, this girl's keen. She's gonna come over Thursday night, whatever. We're gonna have a threesome with her. Your girl's like, okay, cool. She's kind of excited. She's kind of nervous about it, She's kind of excited. And then the day of, you tell her, baby, I want you to get the house ready for it. Let's, let's get the house ready. Let's make it look real nice. Bring out the candles, bring out the toys get the mood lighting ready, whatever it is, right? You make her put time and energy and investment into the setup of the threesome, right? 
so then she's getting more invested in it and like i said before psychologically she's getting herself mentally prepared for it and then at the last minute you're like ah oh, sorry baby she cancelled flaky woman and then you give her a fucking amazing night of sex okay you're rewarding her getting herself mentally prepared and comfortable with the idea of, of sharing you with another chick so that is a, another step to prepare before the first actual threesome really really helps you so once you actually are in your first threesome scenario how do you play this what do you do how do you make sure this is the, the how do you make sure this is fun for everybody involved and how do you make sure it happens again and again the key in my experience is to make it about the chicks not about you they should be the focus of attention first so encourage them to make out with each other encourage them to explore each other's bodies right and then you join in if there is here's the thing if there's t two girls are like making out and having a good time and they're you know they're not lesbians they're actually into dudes as well if there's a if there's an erect penis around it's going to get played with so you just sort of hang out be there encourage what's going on let those two girls get comfortable with each other and explore each other and this is important because it, it starts to that'll, that'll eliminate the jealousy thing because there's always gonna, if you've got a main chick and you're bringing another chicken there's going to be an element of jealousy involved so the idea is if you want this to be a regularly recurring thing you want to crush that jealousy you want to get rid of as much of that jealousy as you possibly can and the best way to do that is to have the two girls actually like each other and get off and get off with each other to have each other as you know very strong compatible sexual partners and then insert penis here then after that what you should do is you should you should focus your attention first on your main chick okay and then the two of you focus your attention on this new girl it's like the frame is like she is this fun play toy for you and your main girl to enjoy together okay because that way it's again it limit we're trying to eliminate that jealousy right because you, you don't want your main girl to get to feel like left out to feel like a third wheel to feel jealous you want this to be a fun experience for her so you get more of them so it's you're engineering a, a we're, we're playing the long game here right we're going to make sure that this is a fun scenario we have a great first impression of threesomes as a couple together so that moving forward we just keep doing this again and again and again because it's so much goddamn fun for us now if you've magically pulled off like the two random girls threesome right you go to a bar and you pull two two girls at once or you pull you magically string together two girls who are into you to come over to your place at the same time uh and one neither of them is like your main chick in that situation you're basically playing you're doing the same thing but what you want to do is you can follow all the same steps right but instead of having a main what you want to do is identify which of these two girls is the more dominant one and which one's the more submissive one and the dominant one it takes sort of the place of your main in that previous setup that i explained so have the two girls making out which one of these two is more dominant she's the more dominant one cool i go with her first and then us two go on to the submissive one and have fun with the submissive one all right let's talk about positions because like i said threesomes are the funnest goddamn thing you could ever possibly do uh and these three positions I'm going to give you right now will optimize your experience. Okay, so first off, we have the love triangle. All right, you want one girl sit on your face, one girl riding your dick, and they're making out with each other. So you form this fantastic love triangle. This is fucking awesome. Uh, both you get to get both girls off at the same time while they stare each other in the eye. Again, this is a really good, strong, you know, bonding. We're all having fun, like kind of energy you're adding into the uh, the sexual experience. The next one is the the your next stare down train. So basically, uh, you're you're behind one girl fucking her. That girl is then eating the pussy of the next girl, and you're locking eyes with that second girl. Basically, communicating that this this what I'm doing to this girl right here is going to happen to you next. Like, get ready, you know. And it creates that anticipation, builds that anticipation. You can throw dirty talk in there around that. But again everyone is kind of involved in a very intimate way especially again this is, this is really important why eye, eye contact in three is super super important and super super awesome as well as i can't emphasize emphasis emphasize enough how awesome threesomes are okay and my personal favorite position to finish a threesome in is basically the two girls 69ing right and then you 
going doggy style on the girl on top. And the girl on the bottom can then lick your balls and suck your balls and suck a clip at the same time. It's fucking amazing. Like, there is no feeling on planet Earth that compares to that. And then you can jizz in this girl's pussy and, the pussy and it can drip on the girl's face and shit or whatever. It is, I guarantee you, if you're in a threesome, that's the way you want to finish. It is a shitload of fun. Uh, thank me afterwards.